As England begin their gruelling preparations ahead of September's Rugby World Cup in New Zealand, the players would have expected the intense training drills which are aimed at pushing them towards peak fitness. But this time around, they have to deal with a new element, wrestling. Introduced by strength and conditioning coach Paul Stridgen, wrestling is set to play a key role in the side's preparations. Although the methods may be different, Stridgen believes that the skills learnt on the mat are transferable to the rugby pitch. During the game, you'd use the elements in things such as rooks and malls, obviously in tackling technique. We're doing a lot of stuff with the coaches, so we'll do a bit of wrestling, and the coaches will have five minutes in, in the middle of the session, and we keep going from wrestling to coaching, and then we can get a bit of the rugby technical aspects interspersed with wrestling. For the first three weeks, we're going to do the wrestling, two one-hour sessions, forwards and backs, and then after week three, the rugby will take precedence, so we'll probably drop it to one session. But we're going to put a big focus on wrestling throughout the World Cup training camp. Having competed in freestyle wrestling for Great Britain for 16 years, Stridgen was a member of the England team which competed in the 2002 Commonwealth Games. But since retiring, he's made a swift progression through the rugby ranks. The guy who was doing my strength and conditioning coach when I was wrestling then became head strength and conditioning coach at London Wasps. So after the Commonwealth Games, I went there with him as academy fitness coach and then became his assistant and then became head strength and conditioning coach. I was there for six years. And then I went to Warrington Wolves Rugby League for one season, and then I joined the England setup in 2008. Although certain moves may have been foreign to some members of the squad, Stridgen feels that overall the players are happy swapping the grass for the mat to aid their technique. We've done this was our third session that you've just seen. We've had great feedback from players and coaches. The lads have really enjoyed it. The competitive nature is great for rugby. You know, rugby players are big competitors, and usually it's a team against another team. But when the one-on-one -on -one with the opponent or their opposition player or opposition team, then it's just, it's just really good.